We've got stupid criminal news tonight. Denver police say they caught a serial robber linking him to crimes all across the city. He made it easy on him, too. The parolee was wearing an ankle monitor at the time. Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen obtained that search warrant. All right, Jacqueline, did this guy really think he'd get away with it? Come well, on. he might have gotten away with it, but police got a tip to check this guy's GPS ankle mon monitor, and suddenly records state not only was he linked to two bank robberies, but two other robberies as well, and police are searching for possibly more. A bank robbed at gunpoint twice in two days. Well, one day I was driving down Colfax. I was headed east. It was last September, and Jerry saw two men in hoodies running, following them until they jumped a fence. Oh, I knew right away what they were doing. They were they robbed that bank. I knew it. A large chunk of Park Hill shut down for hours, but police never found the robbers. And they all think there's someone here, and they're all concentrating their effort here. The bank suspects are long gone. But this search warrant obtained by Denver 7 states, police eventually got an anonymous tip that the bank robber was this guy, Isaac Banks, and that he was on parole wearing a GPS ankle monitor. That made things easier. Police could now put Banks in the location of both bank robberies. And that's not all. After police arrested the two people accused of being his accomplices, they found out about more robberies. Records state his GPS locations confirm Banks was also near a robbery at this Boost Mobile and at this White Fence Farm restaurant. Investigators are now asking for more GPS data to possibly connect him to more heists. That's good. I mean, like I said, you know, people like that I don't think should be free. They, they deserve what they got or what they're going to get. And Banks had been on parole for another robbery charge. Records state he couldn't remove his GPS system without an alarm being sent to his parole office. Now he is behind bars now, charged with aggravated robbery. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7.